what's going on guys welcome back to the channel several months ago when the rioting and the looting and the protest were at their height we were hearing a lot about defunding the police and on the other side on the right people were talking about backing the blue but really should you really be backing the blue and the simple answer is it's kind of complicated it depends it depends on what the blue is trying to do to you if the blue and by the blue we're talking about the police obviously okay guys you can't judge all police across the united states by the actions of a few or a few different departments you need to look at the police in your local area concentrate on the police in your local area and don't really worry about what's going on outside your area we have to narrow the focus down to be able to see and to be able to get a idea of whether or not you should be backing the blue is the blue in your area are they trying to enforce unconstitutional laws unconstitutional mandates and edicts from governors mayors in your town if they are then you should not be trying to back then you should not be backing the blue because the blue is it backing you the blue is enforcing whatever they're told to do that's kind of the same principle that they said are just following orders which is sort of the same thing but well, it is the same thing actually that the uh, nazis said when they were put on trial after world war ii they were put on trial for war crimes murder uh torture and their excuse was that they were just following orders that's the same excuse you hear from a lot of police they're just following orders they don't make the laws they just then force the laws for example say there's a mask mandate in the town you live at and you're walking down the street you're out in your yard you're minding your own business and you don't have a mask on and you get stopped harassed and possibly fined kidnapped and jailed by the local police department because you didn't have a mask on because some governor or some mayor has mandated that everyone in that area wear a mask now guys if you're in a a private business and a private business has decided that they're not going to serve anyone who isn't wearing a mask then that is their right to do that it's your right to not shop there if that's your choice but if you go in and they mandate you have a mask on then you have to put a mask on to shop there because that is private property and if they call the police and the police come and they tell you that you have to leave or you will be charged with trespassing then that is different than being stopped say on the street when you're walking or out in your yard because you don't have a mask on that's private property so those police even though they might not agree with what they're having to do that is private property and we need to respect property rights even if it is a business and you don't agree with their policies you can always show your disagreement by not shopping there there's you got to look at things from different angles but if the police in your area are like they are in a lot of areas right now especially these liberal liberal democrat controlled areas and they're trying to enforce unconstitutional laws over whatever to say that uh say there's a gun ban and the police are trying to enforce that gun ban you know that gun ban is against the constitution and the original principles of the united states of america then you should not be backing the blue it depends and you need to look at what's going on the police and what they're doing in your area don't try to paint this with a broad brush over the whole united states look at what's going on in your area and decide whether or not you should be backing the blue in your area now a lot of sheriffs have said that they will not enforce some of these mandates 
that the governors and mayors are mandating. Quite a few sheriffs has stood up and said that they're not going to enforce those unconstitutional laws. They have better things to do and they're not going to do it. If you have a sheriff department like that, then of course you should support and back the blue. If your sheriff has said that he will not enforce any more gun laws, then you should back the blue in your area. Don't look at it as over the United States, like I said, look at it as being in your area. And this is how we're going to defeat a lot of these unconstitutional laws and mandates that are coming up. Because if Joe Biden does weasel his way into the White House, and it looks like he's going to, he's already talked about it, nationwide mask mandates, nationwide lockdowns. But guys, if no one, if the sheriff and the police in your area refuses to enforce those mandates, then it takes the power away and they really have no power. They can get up there, the mayors, the governors, the president, they can get up there and make all the laws they want, they can make all the executive orders they want, but if no one follows those orders or no one enforces those orders, then they become completely powerless. That takes their power away, and that's what it's going to have to be, guys. You've got to stop looking at everything as being the United States. Look at what's going on in your area and support the police in your area, back the blue in your area who are backing you. If they're not backing you, if they're seeing you as an enemy, if they're trying to enforce unconstitutional laws and mandates on you, then do not back the blue. But if they aren't and they're standing up for your rights, they're standing up for the United States of America, then you back the blue and you help out any way you can. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video and found it at least entertaining. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and turn notifications on if you have done so already. And don't forget, if you haven't bought my book already and you want to take a look at that and think you might be interested in buying that, then the link down in the description box below. You can click that, go to Amazon, and read the reviews about that book. If you think it'll help your own preps, guys, then I'd really appreciate it if you buy the book. It helps me out a lot and help you out a lot, too. Anyway, guys, I'm going to Creek more. I'm out of here. I'll see you in the next video, hopefully.